Hi beauties and girls, welcome back for another video and in today's video we are doing another Panda palette. I have not done this in a while. I had to give myself a break. I love the Lorac Pro and I love my NYX contour and bronzer palette. I'm getting right into this video by the way. I love those but it was time to go. So I do have a clip of the first time of my intro and the how it looked at the end of that. Pretty much after that, I just put it down. I was tired of it. I gave it a good six months and I'm ready to pass that on. I did pan a lot of the items and um, I really did enjoy the Lorac Pro. I am going to pass that on to maybe one of my nieces or something like that. I have a few family members that are into makeup so I felt like they could get some love from that I didn't have to like totally just chunk that because it was a good palette but I was just tired of it and I have way more palettes that I want to get through and I want to pan another palette and that is the Mono Renaissance palette I love this palette it is one of my like top I would say one of my top five and I want to give this some love it's been a while since I've used this but fall I felt like is the perfect time it was like at my one of my all-time favorites and it has a lot of shades that I love so I wanted to give this some love and see how many I could pan really to be honest with you I want to try to pan at least a row which not necessarily like a whole entire row like top or bottom I just want to pan seven out of the 14 so yeah um, I've been using this a lot. I used it in my August favorites and I have been loving what I have been getting from that but I don't want to limit myself so I am going to do I used to do one month one palette okay so let me show you the ones that I'm going to be using for the month now I want to give that some good love but what I've been doing a lot of times what I'll do is during the week I will use the modern renaissance and then on the weekends I kind of like switch it up I'm one of those people that have to have variation so I actually have four palettes here I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use I have the mega pro 3 by Lorac these are ones that are on the chopping block I'm not sure if I want to declutter them or not, but um, I'm probably not. I really like these. The Mega Pro 2. So I have the 2 and 3 by Lorac. I just, I, I like Lorac shadows. I just, I got tired of that Pro 1. I have the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. I have been using this and y'all, I like that one. I used it the other day and I really liked it. And the Minted, this is the Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to be doing a look from this soon. So yeah. Let me know, maybe in the month of September, I can come with a look from each palette. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But I wanted to show you guys a picture of how it looks before. I have nothing panned in this, but I do have some dips. I have a dip in Vermeer right there. I have a dip in Primavera, just a small dip, and a small dip in tempera and raw sienna just a small dip but that's how the palette looks and hopefully for a month we can get some pan on this i love this palette so i don't think it, i'm gonna have a problem and you know it's a soft press it's not a hard press like Too Faced, which is a little bit more difficult to pan so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video of my pan that palette and one month one month four palettes <laughs> video thanks so much for watching you guys comment down below let me know what your favorite palette is currently especially going into fall let me know what you guys are you know wanting to use up thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next project pan bye loveys